Tell us how, how in the world that puck went in. <laughs> uh, honestly, I'm not, I mean, it was a weird play, right? It went through the guy's stick off the boards. Goalie kind of went out for it a little bit, and I just used my reach and just kind of poked it in. Seems like that you were lying with Fowler really just found a lot of chemistry in Joe Mack as well. Just seems like you bring with a lot of confidence, right? Yeah, I think we all we all bring some different, you know. Joe's a very good grinding forward, Fowler's skill, good shot, and you know, I think we play pretty well. Your team is not really never out of it. Like last year that was hard. This year you guys are finding a way to come back in games down. How big is that for you? Yeah, it's huge. Obviously I think uh, younger guys got older and more experience, more confidence and I think if we play the right way, we can continue to be successful. You know, the leadership role in your part, you know, you're able to mentor some of these younger guys, especially now? Yeah, for sure. No, I, I always try to speak up, you know, let them know, and they seem to be following and doing good. How much is the play of Hoffman, D'Amato, and Selen rubbed off on this team, especially the older guys? They're huge. I don't, honestly, the past couple of weeks, they're, they're playing so well, wearing other teams down, and, you know, I'm actually pretty surprised the way they've been playing. A couple goals there and got, got the game going offensively. Yeah, for sure. Happy to contribute and not win. And uh, yeah, the boys played great and we all came together there. So yeah. What's been this, until tonight, what's been that stretch like? How have you handled, you know, just not being able to find the back of the net? Yeah, I think everyone goes through it. I think uh, I think it was just my turn there. And uh, now that I've found it, I feel like uh, I'm going to get on a little roll here. I know Coach said that, you know, hope he remembers how he got it by going to the net and doing the things he has to do. Were you getting? away from that at all in previous games or uh yeah possibly i don't know uh, i think i just like you said just just go to the next that's where goals are scored and i think uh, if i go there i'll get a couple more seems like the team is never out of it you give up a couple early period goals and yet you still find a way to win how does that just speak to the resiliency of your team yeah i think our team is uh, very resilient in that aspect and uh yeah, all our, uh, we're very tight and uh, everyone can come together, so I think we're very tight and bond. And then you've had to play a 5 a couple games in a row, it's always hard. Do you have to adjust your game at all knowing that you have to go through that rotation and you have to be a little more responsible there? Yeah, for sure. It's 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 really tough being back there with 5 I know that. And uh, yeah, so our forwards, we just have to be more uh, more, more uh, active in the deep zone and, and help those guys out down there. And just speak to your line tonight. You were on fire. Garrett obviously won the game. Just seems like you guys have some chemistry going on. Yeah, for sure. He's a great player. And uh, Joe McEnandel, he's also great. So, yeah, those guys are pretty easy to play with. And, uh, yeah. What will this stretch do for this team heading into a couple of uh, long road trips coming up? Yeah, for sure. we got a couple coming up here. So we just have to stay strong and uh, play the way we can.